Hello and welcome to today's myminimaths.co.uk video tutorial. And today we're going to be adding and subtracting fractions and mixed numbers. And first of all, on to question one, which is 3 fourteenths. And we're going to add 2 thirds to that. So the first thing we need to do is find a common denominator. So an easy way to do that is to multiply these together to give us 42, which becomes our new common denominator. So the denominator for both fractions, we're going to be adding them together. And we have a look. So 14 was multiplied by three. So I need to do the same with the numerator at the top. So my new numerator is going to be nine. And here, the 3 was multiplied by 14, of course, which we do the same with the numerator to give us a numerator of 28. Now, 9 out of 42 plus 28 out of 42. So if I look at this as a box, as a rectangle, As you can see, I've got a rectangle with 42 squares, so it has an area of 42 squares. And first of all, I'm going to place my nine out of 42. So there's seven, eight, nine. And then I'm going to add the 28 out of 42. So there's five, add another seven is 12. Add another 7 is 19. Add another 7 is 26, 27, 28. Which leaves these 5 left over here. So all together, when we add the 9 and the 28, we can see we have a total of 37 out of 42. Okay, next we're on to question 2 which is 32 fortieths out of 40, and this time we're subtracting, taking away, 3 eighths. Now, as we can see here, we need to get the denominators to be the same, common, and we can see that 8 is a factor of 40, or 40 is a multiple of 8, it's in the 8 times table. And what we can say is, well, I can change this 8 into 40 by timesing it by 5. And if I do the same with the numerator at the top, I get a new equivalent fraction of 15 fortieths. Obviously, this fraction here remains the same because it's already out of 40. And then we're going to subtract them. So 32 out of 40. So if I take So if I take this rectangle, which has an area of 40 squares, like so, and if we take 32, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, all the way up to 30, and then 32, then we can subtract 15 of those. So we're taking away the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And that clearly shows us that we have 17 out of the 40 squares left over. I know that some people are just happy to subtract the 15 from the 32 to get the 17, but I'm just hoping that this diagram has helped show you why this happens. And finally, we're on to question three. So we have four and four fifths. And we're going to subtract six sevenths. 
Now there are two ways we can do this. The first way is to convert the mixed number into an improper fraction. So we know if we have four whole pizzas, each with five slices each, so that's five out of five, five out of five, five out of five, and another five out of five, there's our four um, uh, whole pizzas, and we're going to add our remainder here of four fifths. We can see all together we've got five, ten, fifteen, twenty. We have twenty four fifths all together. And we're going to be subtracting the six sevenths. So now we've just changed how our question looks. But like before, we need to make sure we have an equivalent, a common denominator at the bottom of our fractions. So if we multiply these, we get 35 as our new common denominator. Now, to move from the 5 up to the 35, we've multiplied it by 7. So we need to do exactly the same with the numerator at the top to give us a new numerator, so 7 lots of 24 is 168. And we're going to subtract that here. We've converted the 7 into 35, so we've multiplied it by 5, of course. So we do the same with the top, the numerator. So 6 lots of 5, 5 lots of 6 are 30. And then finally we can say, well, 168 30 fifths subtract 30 30 fifths will give us a final answer of 138 over 35. Or we could put it back into a mixed number, which would be 3 and 33 out of 35. And so the second way we can calculate the same question, so that's 4 and 4 fifths subtract 6 sevenths. And we can look at it as a standard column subtraction, where we take the units, so four, and then the decimal, the fraction part, sorry, which is four fifths, and we're going to subtract the six sevenths. Now, the first thing we need to do is find our common denominator, which is going to be 35. And we multiplied this by... 5 by 7 to make the 35, so we need to do the same with the top, so that's going to be 28. I multiplied the 7 by 5, and I'm going to do the same with the 6 to give us 30. Now, as we can clearly see, the 28 is smaller than the 30, so we're going to need to borrow from the units, just like we would in the next column with its standard subtraction. So, I'm going to take the 4 here and split it up into 3 plus 1. And I'm going to bring the extra 1 over to here. You can then convert this mixed number into an improper fraction, which is going to be 63 out of 35. We're going to subtract the second fraction, which is 30 30 fifths to give us an answer of 33 30 fifths. But then we need to remember the three that was left behind in the units column for a final answer of three and 33 over 35. Both approaches, both methods are quite different from each other, but I'm sure you'll find one of those that will uh, suit you better than the other. So um, just practice and you'll be absolutely fine in no time. Thank you very much for listening today and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.